Hey, talking about building intelligent robots using Node.js that can come from Twitter. So it's based on a project I kind of did right before Hack Reactor. Uh, my inspiration for this was a Ruby module called Twitter eBooks. Um, you can use it to create interactive Twitter bots. It's kind of a cool thing to check it out. Um, so my goals for this project, like even mine, this is all before Hack Reactor, uh, it was to see if I could learn JavaScript um, and how to use Node.js by refactoring this project. Uh, there were only a few problems. Um, and by a few, I mean a lot. I didn't know JavaScript, Node.js, what functions were, workers, um, all that stuff. So whatever, these are minor details. Um, so the goal for this project, right, is to take a sad robot like this uh, sad vendor right here and to turn him into a robot that can conquer Twitter. Uh, all right, so. You guys might remember Twiddler. Um, so when you look at this, right, this kind of creates and generates sentences based on a couple of different arrays. So you get these, um, you get all these like different words, like just drunk an entire Kool-Aid, hashtag Burning Man. Uh, who knows what that means, but whatever, we generate sentences. Um, the only problem is these sentences are total shit, right? Um, these are horrible sentences. So our goal, <coughs> our goal is to create smarter shit. Um, so how are we gonna do that? Um, we would do that with something called Markov chains. Um, how many of you have heard of Markov chains? Oh, we got like a good number of people. Uh, you're all going to think I'm totally wrong about how I explain this thing, but that's cool. Um, all right, so what are Markov chains? Um, they model randomly changing systems where future states depend only on the present state and not on sequence of events that preceded it. Um, okay, that's a lot of words, Dave. Uh, what does that mean in graph form? Um, this is also boring, I realize, but don't worry. Uh, some of you seniors, we saw this as a toy problem kind of recently um, in our whiteboarding sessions. This is a directed graph. Each one of these nodes is basically, um, uh, each one of the nodes are weighted. So you're going to go to one of these nodes based on a certain probability. So if you go from S sub 0 to S sub 1, um, depending on which node you're going to go to, you know, you have an 80% chance to go to S sub 3 and a 20% chance to go to S sub 2. Awesome. So what does this actually mean uh, in real life? Um, oh, I'll tell you what it means in real life in like two seconds. Um, so some cool things you can do with Markov chains. Um, you know, there's a lot of like physics, chemistry, uh, statistics applications. Um, Google PageRank uh, is actually based on Markov chain. Um, so there's tons of cool things you can do with it. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to build a robot that can kill Twitter. Um, all right, so uh, our source material, you have to build the corpus, basically. So here's a couple just random sentences I'm going to feed into my, uh, my algorithm that's going to build this uh, Markov chain for us. So how this works, right? Like You see I is the most frequent word, um, and then really comes up a couple times, eat, thank, love. Those all come up a couple times, right? So we built this graph. So you can see like this is kind of sentence structure. Um, so, you know, like let's say like we're all like a, out of range here. All right, whatever. Um, you know, you roll like a 10% chance, you get, I am hungry. Um, cool, you're done. Uh, I really, and apparently every time I type the word really, I follow it up with love. Um, so you always get love, and then it goes like one of these random things, right? Um, so this is what it looks like in uh, once I run that algorithm. Uh, basically, it's the exact thing that I fed into it. Um, I only see like one really unique phrase there, which is like, I think I eat burritos, and uh, I know for a fact I eat burritos, so we know that's wrong. So again, this is kind of shitty. Um, so how do we improve this? Um, we need more input, as our friend Johnny Five might say. Um, so let's go ahead and get some input. Where are we going to get this input? Um, since I'm building a robot that's going to uh, take over Twitter, let's use my Twitter account. Uh, 20,000 tweets. This is an awesome, uh, awesome amount of source material that we can use. Um, so when you parse, or you basically like download your Twitter archive, this is kind of what it looks like, right? Like it's just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, this is after I cleaned it up, removed hashtags, removed links, removed uh, ad usernames, that sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, you're still stuck with 20,000 lines of code, but on 1.3 megabyte file. Let's feed it to Johnny Five. He's gonna he's gonna dig through this stuff and you know process it. Cool. So basically, we get a bunch of uh, objects. So this is before I really knew data structures. Um, but this is kind of what stuff looks like, right? Like you have the word I, and it's usually followed with wish. Um, cool, you have all this stuff. It ends up being 208,000 words. Uh, it's a one million line file. It's crazy, 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 crazy stuff. But we actually get some interesting data. Like a lot of this is going to be nonsensical, but this is stuff that's actually getting generated um, from my Markov chain. Uh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Cool, let's go ahead and plug it into Twitter and uh, tweet once a minute, which is going to be amazing. So this is RoboNerf. 
so he, uh, you can actually go and say hi to him right now. I actually think he just crashed right before dinner, so he won't reply to you. But, um, but anyway, this is Robo Group. He usually tweets about once a minute. Uh, for some god awful reason, a thousand people are following him. I think it's because his spam bots, but whatever. Um, that said, every time he tweets, like, you know, most of the time he's tweeting crap, but sometimes he tweets, like, amazing stuff. Um, you know, he's spreading the love of mustaches, and he randomly puts this, like, sad emoji right there. Um, seriously, Bacon solves problems. Um, I actually think I tweeted that, so I don't know. Yeah, that, that might be some weird thing. Um, you know, it's a glitch that affects my dreams. There's a lot of crazy stuff here. So what have we learned? Hello, hello. All okay. right. What have we learned in 63,000 tweets, 1,000 followers, 1,000 less of later? Uh, basically, infinite monkey theorem is kind of true. Uh, you know, you have somebody like just typing or putting random stuff up all the time, like you're bound to like come up with some work of genius. Um, so I'm going to kind of close out with this sort of thing. Uh, I kind of built in the ability for um, RoboDrip to reply to people, so he has a little tweet about at and um, at and players responded, that's amazing. <laughs> RoboDrip Robo realizes something. So it gets better, RoboDrip realizes that people respond to him, so they'll actually respond right back. And um, this just by the way. <laughs> at and didn't respond, they will have you know, which is great. <laughs> conversation. But that was totally random, and I was like, this is amazing. I was like, I was in tears, man. I was like, my, my little boys are growing up. Um, yeah. So cool, yeah, there are one thing is you can do some like, contextual replies based on like ranking keywords, how often keywords come up, you can build all these like, uh, uh, you know, random, random sentences based on that. Um, so, you know, you're probably wondering, hey Dave, where is our, oh wait, hold on real quick. Uh, so this is some smart shit, right? Cool, awesome. Um, so you're wondering, where is our Calcho protein tonight? So, um, why don't we build a Kyle Cho Pro Tip Generator using my Kyle Cho? Yeah. So I, uh, yes. I don't know. Oh shit, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Um, so I, uh, let's see here. I went to uh, Kyle's blog, his Twitter account, his LinkedIn profile, uh, his Facebook page. Um, thank you, Libby. I don't know where you are for building Stalker, but um, I actually did this like that before. But um, anyway, so we click on uh, Kyle's pretty face. So we're going to get some randomly generated terms. Probably won't make sense. We'll see what happens. Um, overall, the routine has discovered so many different parts of them and had already become once executed portion of the of problems. Over until you know what my ability was. Oh, well, well, hack director last fall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so here's your artificial problem. Uh, but your official one, I do, I do have an official one. Uh, it's basically just make sure, sure you have a lot of source material. Uh, we're using Markov chains to generate random sentences. Um, and with that, I have two questions. <laughs>